in this lesson, I'm going to show you a new quick way to add items to a combo box using the Edit List Items button. Hey folks, this is Rick. This tip is the perfect example of how even an expert like me, who's been using Access for, geez, over a decade now, will still learn something new every day. I was putting together the outline for my new Access 2010 Beginner 8 class, and I discovered a new feature that they had added into Access 2007, and I never knew about it. I must have missed it when I was doing my research. Well, back in the old days, 2003 and below, when you wanted to add a value to a list, you had to either close the form and then open up the other form or the table. Like, for example, here I have offices and managers. If I want to add a manager to this list, I'd have to go back and find the manager form, open it up, put the value in here, close this, refresh this somehow, which usually meant closing this and reopening it or making a requery button. There's a million steps you had to go through. Or you could use some advanced programming with something called an on not in list event, which I've got a separate tip video showing how to do that for Access 2003. When someone types in a value that's not on this list, they get an error message. Well, the nice guys at Microsoft added a way to quickly and easily add a value to this list, and it's one little simple property that you have to change. And again, I just discovered this, so I'm real excited about it. And here's all you have to do. Go to Design View. Open up the properties for your combo box. Here's the property sheet. Now, right here, there's this item that says List Items Edit Form. Here you can specify a form. Drop that down. I have a Manager F form that I created that has my list of managers. This is the form that your users can use to edit the values in this list while this form is still open. And Access handles all the refreshes and all that stuff for you. Now, set that, close this. I'm going to close and reopen my office form. There it is. There's my list of managers. Now, right away, notice the little edit button appears at the bottom here. See that, that little hidden button? It says edit list items if you hold your mouse over it. Let me do that again because it goes away quick. There it is, edit list items. You can click on that, and it will open up your manager's form. And I can put another value in here like Dave, close it, and now Dave shows up in the list. And that's all done automatically now. Or if I type something in here like, um, you know, uh, Patty, hit enter, it says the text you entered isn't on the list. Would you like to edit that now? And it opens up the same form again. So I can now come down here and put in Patty. Now, yes, you can use advanced programming like the on, not in list event, and there's a tip for this on my website, where it takes what you typed in and automatically puts it in there without you having to actually edit this form. But this is so much quicker and easier than having to go through all that programming if you want your users to have the ability to edit this list. So this is a great feature. They added it in Access 2007, I believe. It's definitely in 2010. And if you want to learn more about working with combo boxes, I cover them in great detail in all of my Access classes, almost all of them. So to find out more information on my courses, come to accesslearningzone.com and look for my Access 2010 and 2003 lessons. I've got lots of advanced developer lessons available for 2003 as well.